What I want to talk to you guys about today are digging shovels. Now, I did a video like this not too long ago. Well, probably three, four years ago. Probably before some of you guys were born. And, um, you know, talked all about the different shovels that I use and why. Gonna do that again, kinda. I'm gonna narrow it down to shovels that I like and that you can take with you when you travel, like when you go on airplanes and stuff like that. Because most digging shovels, you know, metal detecting shovels that you'll buy, are just a little bit too long to go in a suitcase so it kind of puts you in a bind so what i'm going to do is lay these shovels out on the log behind me and i want to look at them and then i'm going to tell you about each one and why i like that particular shovel and part of this part of the reason i'm doing this is because the shovel i like which has a very long handle on it i have modified so that i can take it on a plane as well it has, actually has a place in it that i can break uh, or it comes apart it doesn't actually break but you know what i mean and i wanted to show you how to do that because i had a couple people asking me about that in other videos so let me lay these things out come on over here and i'll show you them then we'll talk about them so these are the four shovels we're going to talk about today okay this is a typical digging shovel that you will buy online for metal detectors I, I don't even know who that is i bought that about 20 years ago this is the smaller version that's made by uh, anacondatreasure.com, which is KG and Ringy from the Digger Show. And they just sent this to me, and I used it for the first time uh, yesterday, and, well, the day before yesterday, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to tell you about that. This is the one that I use mostly for metal detecting. I'm going to tell you about this curve and that blade and how I actually shortened the handle just a little bit. That's from Lowe's, um, you know, like uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. And this is the one that was just like this that I modified so I can break it in the middle to put this in the suitcase. And I'm gonna tell you about that as well. All right, so let's sit down. I'm gonna to try to rush through this video because the mosquitoes are terrible. But first, let me talk about the shovel that isn't a shovel, a trowel. Now, certainly you can put these in a suitcase and take them with you, but they are very inefficient to dig with. And after you've used one of these three or four times, you realize the bigger, the better. Uh, some people will kind of like freak out if you use anything but this in a yard. So they're good to have along. Uh, but I'm not going to talk too much about the trowel. Let's go straight to, um, well, let's do the normal digging shovel that you buy online. This is a metal detecting shovel designed for and sold to guys and gals just like us. Uh, very sturdy. I don't think I could ever break this thing. It's heavy. Got the T-handle. Um, it's a great shovel, uh, but it it's long and it will not fit in any suitcase and of course you can't carry these things on because they're kind of like weapons has a straight blade mostly straight like that i'm not real keen on any shovel that's straight like this because it's, it's much harder to dig with something like this than what i normally dig with um but that's the way most of them are made okay let's go to the one that i'm actually going to recommend to you guys to get overall if you don't want a long handle shovel like i use this is a little one that, like I said, uh, Tim from uh, The Diggers, uh, he sent this to me the other day, and I was really, really impressed with it. I know a lot of guys dig with these things. Seems kind of short, but it really isn't that bad digging, and it fits in a suitcase, so you can take this with you when you fly across country or overseas. Very, very well made. They designed it and have it made locally, I do believe, here in the U.S. It even has bottle openers on it, which is I've actually used before, not this one, but on other ones. Nice, strong, sturdy blade. And again, best of all, it does fit in a suitcase. I'm going to put a link to anacondatreasures.com, and you can go check them out yourself, okay? Great little shovels, and I highly recommend this, even over the longer-handled ones. Um... Well, another reason why, too, and I didn't really think about this, with these bigger shovels, you know, sometimes homeowners freak out when they see you walking around with a giant shovel like this. And I noticed that this one is much less conspicuous. It looks more like a little garden spade, really. Um, and when I was digging in somebody's yard just the other day with it, I didn't feel like I had a giant shovel, <laughs> which I like to use if I can get away with. Okay, let's talk about my shovel. This is the normal digging shovel that I use, and I'm going to show you the one I modified for traveling, okay? I really, really, really like how it's bent like this. It makes it much easier to dig. You can dig a hole like this, and without bending over at all, you just push the handle back, and it flips the plug right up. Really, really like this shovel. Home Depot and Lowe's sell these. They have a lifetime warranty. If you don't cut the handle off, which I always do, because I like it just a little bit shorter than they normally sell. 
someone was asking me hey how do you get that handle back on there this rubber part i don't remember how i did it but i know i took it off of it and put it back on again so it can be done but i don't remember how i did it but that's too long for traveling so what i did is i took one of those shovels this is the oldest one that i have and as an experiment i cut it in half and put it back together again with a couple doodads. Now, as it turns out, this thing works great. I've used it a lot, even when I'm not traveling because I always forget a shovel, but I keep this one in the truck. So I normally have a shovel now. And the nice thing about it is it goes together pretty easy. I've not had it break yet, or even like think I was gonna be breaking it. And I'll just briefly show you what I did to make this. If I can find my pieces. They're in me pocket. Hey, Skinny Ratty is one of our wildcats over there. What I did is I took the shovel again. I, it was already shortened and uh, I cut it in half. I used one of, well, I guess two of these actually. This is a PVC pipe fitting. Um, I think it's an inch and a half, but you'll have to take your shovel in to make sure you get the right size. Without the little rings in the inside or they're very small, uh, some of them have bigger ones. And what I did is I just took this and I jammed it over the end where I cut it and I hammered it down. It was pretty tight, but it went on there right down to the tip, uh, the end of it where, where it was cut there on a the saw like that. So this reinforces it. I did find out if you don't reinforce this, it will bend and break. This was actually broken originally. I put this on there and have not had any problems since. This inside piece of aluminum is I think a tent pole or something. Just look around for something that will fit in here. I think it could probably be plastic. You know, take your shovel to Lowe's and look through all the shelves and find a piece of pipe that will fit in there. And it's about the same length under here as it is above here. Okay, so I, I glued that piece on this end as well. Just like that. They go together and they're pretty tight. I mean, it's, it wiggles a little bit, but when you're overseas digging roaming coins and you know Celtic staters, you don't really care too much about that. And you have a shovel that will fit, your favorite shovel that will fit in your suitcase. But if you don't want to go through all that, I understand this is the way to go 100%. All right, mosquitoes are tearing me up. <laughs> We're gonna take off, go back to the house and have something to drink, non-alcoholic, of course. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in.